All right, guys, hey, welcome to hey. episode 106 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me, got Jay over here. Yeah. You already know how to fuck a rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop, all right? We bike, though. We bike, we bike, we bike. How we, we feeling feel. today, boys? How we feeling? How we feeling? I feel Shit, great. I feel great. I woke up early. Hey. This guy, I woke up early. This nigga o'clock. said ten o'clock is early. No, <laughs> no, I woke. I woke up at eight. I woke up at eight. Uh, got out of bed at eight thirty. Took a little, you know, wash my face, whatever. Felt good. Had to run to fucking Walmart, get that double sided tape. You know what I mean? Hey. Had to get it because we about to lay some music down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know nah, I mean? for real, bro. Yes, music on the way, bro. That song we got coming, boys. That shit's a hit, bro. Nah, facts. I showed you that verse last night. That shit's a hit. That, that shit. shit's a hit. Yeah, we were talking about it. We all slid on that He's shit. Power. We yeah. all slid yeah. on that facts, shit. Facts. But yeah, man. So uh getting right into the first topic, man. Anxiety and doubt. What we got, Johnny Boy? What we got? <laughs> Um, anxiety and doubt. So I don't know about you guys, but you know how you get that little butterfly, you know what I mean? When you're going up a fucking roller coaster and you're like, oh fuck, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to do this. Or like how you're explaining how you were going to that restaurant with your wife and you were talking about anxiety, how like your anxiety was picking up and you're like, nah, never mind. You know, I don't even want to do this no more. Fuck this. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I feel like social anxiety, like my hands get real sweaty. Uh, I sweat a lot. Stuff like that. Um, everybody has different forms, forms of anxiety. Yeah, no, nah, for real, um, for sure. Anxiety is definitely something that I think most people deal with in different ways. Um, I think everybody has some type of social anxiety. If you're not like a, a public speaker, you're just not comfortable around a lot of extrovert. people. Yeah, if so you're not some extroverted. Some people are like way outgoing, bro. Yeah, there's some people that are social butterflies, yeah, yeah. bro. And they could talk to anybody and be mm-hmm. co- and like, mm-hmm. that's draining for me. For for somebody like me, like that literally drains my energy. It's like, I don't want to do that, bro. Yeah. Like, not all the time. You know what like I'm saying? Everybody. Like, not with everybody and not all the time. Like, I'm real selective. Yeah, and but, we're great with people. Like, we're out yeah, in public. Like, we're able to talk to anybody. Listen, but, I'm very cordial. Yeah. I was raised right. Like, yeah. my mom taught me to speak with respect yeah. and treat people with respect. I'll treat you with respect, but I'm not going to be your best friend and go hang out with you afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, just the point. Yeah, like, yeah, I just, cool. I, I spoke with you. We had yeah, a good you're conversation. Cool. Yeah. You're cool. Now we could go about our ways. Peace. Yeah, and you know if you, you got yeah. a question or if whatever, if I like you and I gave you my number or social, then yeah, bro, hit me up. Yeah, you know what I mean? Different. If not, then it means I don't fucking like you. <laughs> yeah, bro. I just I don't know, man. Like I, I feel like the older you get, it's just like every you realize everybody isn't good yep. to be your friend. Like, yeah, it's just it is what it is, bro. Like, like intentions and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. A lot of people's intentions aren't really <coughs> what they portray them to be. For real. Yeah, it's fraudulent. True. But yeah, just don't let don't let anxiety fucking scare you. Don't get that doubt. You know, when I'm writing down music and stuff like that, I begin in my own head, like, you know what? Like, man, this is trash. Or like it's like the devil and the angel on, on both fucking shoulders, you feel me? And it's like, yo, bro, like <clears throat> don't get in your head, just fucking stay positive and just do it. Yeah, you know? no, just facts. Do it. Don't give a fuck about anybody else's opinion. Just do it, bro. That's a fact. Matter of fact, we're gonna go ahead yeah. and hit a round of applause right there yeah. for that. That's one. motivational Sunday. That's motivational Johnny over here, all yeah. right? But yeah, man, investments, right? Investments, guys. It's crazy because a lot of people, you know, they want to they want to be in certain places and get to certain places in life and shit. But investments play a huge fucking part in doing that. You know what I mean? Like, ultimately, how you feel about that shit, Johnny boy? Um, uh, man, it's it's a different type of thinking, man. Um, I want to shout out Kane, man, because he's the one that really changed my perspective. Uh, money, uh, money, guys. Like money is is. I waste money, bro. We all waste money. You feel me? And it's a tool to use it for other things that make you happy. You feel me? And that's cool and all. So I spend money all the time. It's fine, but we have to take some of our money, right, our profits, and invest some of it. You know what I mean? I feel like if you invest the money and you make a profit back, it makes you look at it at a different way, Especially like a different nowadays, angle. Because the market is so the way it is. Yeah. So money sitting inside of a bank account isn't making nothing, isn't doing anything At for all. you because of the way interest rates are. So but you need to have a of lot of money. Like you need to have like five million in a bank account to actually make a decent amount off of interest. But you not even right like, now. So many people are taking their money out and then like putting in the investing it mm-hmm. because hard that, assets is where it's at. Yeah, bro. Because right now, especially if we're, we're living in this time, everything's so fucked up. That people's money, they're losing money, leaving their money in banks. Exactly. So instead, they're taking and investing it. 
So that's your chance to make more money, make your money work for you. You yeah, know, like rich dad, poor dad. That's the exactly. That's the that's the key, man. You can't have your money just sitting around. You know, if you make a million dollars and just have it sitting there, like, yeah, even if you don't spend it, yeah, you have a million dollars, but that million could have made you 1.5 million on top of that million. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. That's different. It's different. Like if you, if you've never made a large amount of profit off a small amount of money, it's hard to see. It's hard to see. But once you do it, it's like, it's like, oh fuck. Yeah. You You realize that it's not that hard and it's just, it's, it really just comes down to taking the risk, man. Yeah, everything's yep. a risk everything's a risk and and some things are more risky than others but hey the bigger the risk the bigger the reward bro like yeah. that's just how that shit even goes. a relationship yeah fact. yeah that's Big true fact. that is true <laughs> but yeah crazy. man consistency guys consistency is the most underrated thing you know when it comes to work ethic yeah right and ultimately consistency is what's going to keep you apart from the competition bro like there's a lot of people that are very talented that are, you know, they got it, but they're not consistent in their work. They're not consistent in their in their work patterns. And that's just that's where that's where the difference comes in, in my opinion, because yeah, there's guys yeah. like like you got to look at like a lot of these guys in the in the hip hop industry right now. Like a lot of these guys just work hard, bro. Like blue faces, uh, blue faces, his manager. He was talking. Whack 100. Mm-hmm. He was talking about that shit. He was like, bro, like, he's like, yeah, I'm a blood, but he's like, I got behind this kid because he's out hustling these niggas. Oh, that's really what it comes down to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a yeah. good, that was a good yeah. interview. You're you know better, what I'm saying? Better fucking businessman. Yeah, it's like, bro, like, exactly, yeah, like, but that, money. that's exactly what he said. He's <laughs> like, at the end of the day, bro, this is a business. Yeah. It's he not like, I'm Takashi. not going to put you on just because I'm a blood and you're a blood. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. a crit, but he's out hustling you niggas. Yeah. That's really all he, if, like, if that's he was what hustling. Comes down to. If he was hustling and he was a blood too, that's just the blood part is just a plus. Yeah. You see like, what I'm saying? For him, because he's yeah. a blood. You see what I'm saying? But, but like, yeah, it, the most important part is the business it's part. It's the business like, part, yeah. business being business sense, minded, yeah. work ethic. You know what I'm Bro, saying? His like, daughter, he was talking about how his daughter supports Takashi. He's like, I yeah. have to support him low key because she buys his merch. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, he's, hilarious. he's like, she knows my card yeah. number better than I do. Oh shit! But that's really how it is yeah. as a parent. Like yeah. you're not, you can't tell her no, nigga. Like he said, he's like, I can't be like, no, you can't fuck with him because you fucking because yeah. I'm a blood. Like bro. That's a 16 year old little girl, bro. She don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she, she, just, she just sees the colors and thinks it's funny and cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but yo, he, he's a clown, that dude. That nigga's making bro. me laugh, though, sometimes. <laughs> you know you nah, whack 100. Whack 100, man. Yeah, I think I saw the interview. He's the one that was uh, saying that Nipsey wasn't a legend, right? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, him, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he was John saying, like, "Fuck you." Yeah, yeah, John don't like that yeah. shit. Yeah. Hey, bro. Hey, everybody's entitled to their hey, opinion. Hey, bro. That's exactly what I was about to say too. It's everybody's like, entitled hey. to their opinion. That's how he feels, bro. And yeah. he just doesn't like your opinion. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Who cares, and, bro? Exactly. That's the other thing too, though. Like yeah, yeah. everybody's entitled to their opinion, but I'm entitled to not fucking yeah, like yeah, it. I'm how about that? that? I'm like, <laughs> it's gay. Yeah. I don't like. Nah, but nah, yeah, that's why I respect. I respect your opinion, Do you? Yeah. Do you think? <laughs> Look, Tesla files for trademark to enter restaurant business, guys. So listen, round of applause to Tesla. They're gonna start cooking on induction stoves now and shit made yeah. from fucking it's Tesla. Not, it hasn't came in, you know. It hasn't gone through yet, but it's like I guess it's like it's it's in the works and it's headed that way. And he said, and he's like, hey man, this is not a Tesla is not a fucking car company. It, it's a tech company. You see what I'm saying? So, so he's trying to to expand he's trying, outside of cars. He's basically trying to take over the world. <laughs> he's yeah. trying to go to space. He's trying to take over the food. No, he's trying to go to Mars, bitch. He's yeah, trying to take over on. the Mars. He's literally he trying to take over the world. Space is gonna be Mars. fucking on Mars. Bro. Yeah, exactly. Why? So. It's all a joke till it fucking happens. Nah, yeah, nah, facts. You know what I mean? There's always gonna be Yo, that one motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> nah, he's a genius. Smart, yeah. He's a genius. But you yeah. gotta think about the people working for him. Yeah. They're just as smart, if not smarter. Facts. Because you can't cars? be the smartest person in the room, bro. Everybody's nah. good at something. You have to have a team. You, you, Yo, yeah, on facts. His cars, you know that people put like made in America or made in, you know, USA and stuff? His, his cars and shit say made on Earth by humans. That's dope. You know why? Fuck because he's it. like, yo, there's aliens out there. If somebody ever finds this, they're going to be like, oh, Earth, let's invade it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. You're going to be like, invaded. look at these weak ass, fucking stupid ass people. 
They're over here killing each other <laughs> over stupid shit Sad. and fighting on social media. They're idiots <laughs> because they think that everybody's a social justice warrior. Right. Now it wants to go and have an opinion like, look, man, fuck you, no, all fuck. of you, and all your opinions. Nobody yeah, what fuck. happened What happened to the days where your opinion didn't fucking matter? Yeah, aliens like, would look at us and be like, oh, my God, we got to kill all of them and just start brand new. Yeah, Let's keep just, a couple good-looking ones yeah. so we have a good-looking... You know, yeah. future head, but smart ones maybe too. But other than that, kill the rest of these. Uh, fucking we just need shit. Elon and a bunch of good-looking bitches. That's it. And just kill that's them. it. And just kill. He, I'm sure he can impregnate. Like we, he's got the tech. Let's just say that. Holy fuck! We'll yeah, I, I was having I was having a conversation oh, with fucking low key and shit, and I was like, man, my cousin just sent me a fucking snap of him having a Tesla pulling an RV. I was like, wow. This this car is really strong. Yeah, you know powerful, what I mean. Man. Yo, like, Elon Musk made a mini house like that Tesla mini that house that's like fifty five grand, and supposedly you can pull it with one of those model whatever the fuck they are the car ones. Yeah, I don't know what the SUV is called in the car. Mm. Mm. Now listen, electric cars are they're powerful, man. They're they got trucks now. You heard yeah. the Ford that new one is yeah. silent. I'm like, yes. what? No, the listen, fuck? listen. I'm getting that next year. Next I'm year? getting that. Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm getting that. Guys, mark my words. By next year, I'm getting that Ford. Bro. I want one too. Because that Blessings. shit. Blessings. Listen, bro. Too. They're the only. They're gonna be the second biggest. I've said this a hundred times. Too. They're gonna be the second Thanks. biggest. <laughs> the second biggest electric car company behind Tesla. And they're they're making their own batteries, which Tesla doesn't make their own batteries right now. So that's why their cars are so Dying. expensive. Yeah. So when and buy their stock. When Ford starts making their own batteries yeah. and they put out their own electric car line, the cars are gonna be a lot cheaper than Tesla and people are gonna gravitate towards that. Because it's American. More, it's and it's more affordable, <laughs> nigga. American, <laughs> American made it's American made and it's more affordable. Look at this so, guy. He screams America. 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 The, where's the eagle, man? Fuck we yeah. need that eagle. The eagle <laughs> effect. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, something. I don't know. <laughs> but real, Ellie, you know, like, what's that word that real we used to LA say all the time like, when we go to the springs? What's that word? Um, fuck. It's majestic. 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 Ooh, wow. Yeah, that shit's amazing. Let me <laughs> let me go ahead. And- <laughs> Majestic. It's majestic. Just like that. a sunset. Isn't that romantic? <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that romantic? It Isn't does. it? Oh like, my god. Makes me want to pull my they're like a, they're like a postcard right now in front of the beach. <laughs> a married couple on vacation. All right. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, fuck this guy. Yo, I thought it was really nice, you know? No, it's just smooth. No, it's, it's pretty really smooth, nice. but it's just like <laughs> man's man. But I, no. <laughs> Up close, you know, from far it looks gay, all right. But, from, from, <laughs> but if you come up close and you're up and personal, you could fucking see the detail hey, on this bro, beach. That shit, you can, you can see. <laughs> you can see the oh fucking, you can see the seashells and shit. No, oh my for God, real, it's beautiful. You know my uh, my my grandfather, he actually got shitted on by a pelican back in the day. Wow. Yeah, crazy. That's probably a big shit too. Yeah, it was giant. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't I didn't yeah. see it, but it was a story that you, got you know shitted on. It's like a family story. A that's just that. fucking funny. Yeah, nah. Uh, I remember hey, Pedro got shitted on. Shout out to Pedro, man. Shout out to Pedro. He got shitted on by a bird in front of all. I of got shit on the first. It was like six of us. School. For real? Yeah, right on my brand new Iversons. Wow, Iversons. them Damn. shits are smooth. Too. I used to have them too. The zippers. Yeah, bro. yeah. I the answers. Out and I was like, Fuck. You remember those? I used to have those. The zipper. Yeah, Iversons. yeah. I couldn't them believe it smooth. at first. Yeah. I was like, "What is that?" And I looked at it. I'm like, "Oh my god, oh, that my shit, god. Bro. Oh, shit." Those are called the answers. People be hating. Yeah, yeah. answers. And that's what they were. Them birds be hating, my nigga. Straight nah, up. Those Iversons were it. I want me guys. a pair now. <laughs> Look, man. Ultimately, guys, in life, I feel like you shouldn't be distracted by things that you can't really control, right? Like, there's a lot of things that come your way in life that you literally have no control over. It it ranges, right? It could be you wake up and your fucking tires flat. You have no control over that, nigga. Your tires flat. You got to take care of it. It's mm-hmm. fucked, right? Or uh, somebody doing something that you don't agree with. You have no control over it. Somebody you smashing into your car in that, the morning. Oh, no, no. <laughs> that's different. But like, just, no, just no. like there's certain things that are coming, that are going to come about that you just, you literally have no control over. Death is one of that, those things. Um, just a lot of things, man. And you got to learn how to, how to deal with that shit, you know, because I don't know, bro. <laughs> like the older I get, the more I realize like you're really not in control of anything at all like you could go apply somewhere and be 
the fucking, you know, the person that's for the job. And yeah. they're like, no, we're hiring this nigga. Have like, the qualifications and everything. You got two degrees, yeah. all that you shit. You got your and forklift certification. Yeah, like, like, you got it all. Like, you got it you all. Got, you got five years experience. Yeah. All types of shit. And they said, no, we're hiring Timmy because the owner's son needs a job. <laughs> Nah, my dog. My, like, that's true, bro. You have no control over anything. Like facts. it's literally. I always tell myself, I, like God's in control. It's not me. It's facts. I really, I really have no control you over what the fuck's going on. Yeah, you, you have intentions yeah. to do certain things, yeah. but most, even then, most of the time, bro, like it doesn't work out the way you want it to. Yeah, like, you can make a step by step plan. Yeah. By the end, by the you might reach the goal, but by the time you do, you're gonna be like, damn, I had to switch up like more than half my shit, more than half my steps. Like yeah. I had to do something different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, talk about fucking qualifications with you. Yo, last night I was playing fucking Call of Duty with this guy. <laughs> hey, bro. And this guy was driving the truck, bro, so fucking well. And the guys that we were playing with, we had no idea yeah, who the fuck these guys bro, were. These guys were cool as fuck. Like, dead Shout ass. Out, uh, hey, bro, yeah. the Call of Duty community is different. Yeah, bro. it's crazy. And these two guys had the mic. And, bro, whenever we used we, it. Yeah, we, yeah. Yeah, we, we was got, vibing and shit. Yeah, you I haven't been under yeah. a while, though. My kids have been getting it in now. Yeah. They, they, you know I saw you online and I invited you, but I told him, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's his kid. Last night. Oh, yeah, that was. Was a kid. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was like, I'm pretty sure it was a kid. They're hooked now. So I gotta bro. get my own Xbox. <laughs> but bro, I gotta be in the kids' room. Hey, that's, oh, that's, that's, that's daddy, that's daddy issues, daddy. bro. That's oh, daddy, 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 daddy issues. For real. I yo. always wonder why you used to go to my daddy friend's houses and they used to have like two PlayStations. Yeah. I'm like, y'all rich? No, no, dad just needs his own shit. Nah, bro. facts. Real talk. <laughs> I need my own space, bro. Kidding, bro. Nah, but anyways, bro, you remember the he was driving this fucking truck bro I'm, I'm not even like yo and i'm like yo and i'm like yo this motherfucker and the guys in the chat are like yo like yo damn bro he's with me this shit i was like yo he got a cd yeah he got a cd out and i said he got a cd out and i was just like oh my god it was just funny you had to be there it was just funny the way nah, i said bro, it because it was random bro that was, was the dying. funniest shit i heard in a while on call of duty in a while yeah but yeah, that's man. fact that should have been i was recorded. whipping the fuck out that motherfucker that's but crazy. listen guys if y'all like call of duty and fuck with that man yeah. go down in the description or the description yo add me and the yo, fucking we gotta comments. Our, our, our shit in the description yeah, yeah. we got people can add us and y'all can play with yeah, us yeah. Yeah. fuck you up yeah we'll fuck fuck you up. want the smoke you want the smoke no, no, I'm just I'm, I'm trash hey, nah for nah, real I'm, I'm, I'm pretty trash yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm pretty. I'm pretty fun. all right. This guy's a competitive player. Nah, Look at that face. No, bro. No, nah, listen. If that doesn't say competitive, if that doesn't say phase, if plan, that doesn't say fucking nuke squad phase <laughs> up, phase bitch. <laughs> if, I don't, if I don't look like a killer, this guy's a killer. Uh, you fucking let me ask know. Him. What? Ask, yeah. Remember? No, he almost killed the guy. I'm not even gonna get into I'm not, the details. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, I, nah, nah. Mm. On his birthday, he almost killed the guy on his birthday. <laughs> of all days, the day you was born, was the same you, day you were gonna die. I was like, you know, you would kill a bitch. No, first of all, <laughs> look, you know. I just wanted to let people know that I don't care what day it is. Who manages this? It could be your birthday, my it grandma's be, birthday, Jesus' birthday. You gonna be, die? <laughs> it could be my birthday. Oof, oof. That's deep. You he, said, die. he said, happy birthday to me. I just caught a body. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> one. One, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, nah, nah that's fucked up. Nah, I'm a, I'm a we loving guy. We don't condone violence. <laughs> no, nah, we don't condone violence. Facts, but you know, no. who, you know who got violent right quick, right? Let's get into it, boys. Let's get into uh -oh. it. Lil Dirk in India, guys. Round, Ooh, of, applause. Round, round of applause to Dirk in India. Some Bonnie and Clyde shit. They held it down. They held it down. Listen, yep. now nah, for real though, listen, all jokes aside, I'm going to start by saying I'm glad everybody's okay. I'm glad Facts. nobody was hurt. Even the people that try to fucking go into the house, I'm glad nobody was hurt. Everybody has a moment. Because that, that could be something that could change somebody's life. Yes. No, nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? But round of applause again. Oh, my, oh my God. gosh, bro. Oh my. They got into a shootout together. <laughs> Both of them busting straps, nigga. What Make we doing? <laughs> what we doing, bro? No, no, Dirk, no, no, come on, man. Look, OTF the movie. Come on, no, what's up? Listen, what we doing? What's that movie, man? Mr. and Mrs. Smith, bro. Mm. You feel me? Like, I need a wife like that. I need a wife uh, that's gonna bust it, baby. Yeah, I need a wife need that's gonna bust carry it. the blick and the stick. You I, know what I'm saying? I need like, you to fucking bust it in the bed. I need you to bust it for uh, real. I need you to make me bust. That's a fact. You feel me? Everything so needs to be busting. We got to be busting. All threes. <laughs> BBBs. I like my girl. B-U-S-S-I-N. Bitch busting. <laughs> and BBW. 
John sexually deprived. It no, seems. Really. I know he seems like in every episode. You know, they say they that guy. Him up. They yeah. say guys I'm, that I'm, are bald I'm, have higher testosterone levels. I, it seems like it, this guy will fuck anything that has two legs. If there's a three. hole, if there's yeah. a hole in his wall right now, we leave the room. Fucking. He's fucking it. Yeah, yeah. as soon as we leave, <laughs> you know I like holes in the walls, <laughs> bars. Bro, come on, stop thinking 30. Oh, uh, no, nah, let's, let's think 30 for a second. You no. like holes in the wall? Let's yeah. get into that. Nah, get into bro, it. no, it's the same, bro. Like, I like low key bars instead of like popping as crowded as uh, bars. I don't know about y'all. I don't know. Hey, guys, hey, we, we think we're, we might have to fucking shoot somebody in the do, face. Yeah, so. There's a gun right over there in the corner. Yeah, we exactly. go, Mom. Okay. Yeah. But listen. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, I think it's, it, listen, exactly what we talking about. You got to be ready. We got a strap right over here in the corner. You see, you heard that? And, <laughs> you know what is saying? that ironic? And, and, and you know what I'm saying? You, you just got to be ready to protect yourself, yeah. especially if you're at your home. You know yeah, what I'm saying? If, like, you have, you if you're at home, you have every right to protect yourself. And a lot of people Damn. are saying that he's a, he's a convicted felon or something like that. I'm pretty sure that there's laws that protect a convicted felon from having a gun in their home. Because there are certain states that are like that, bro. Really? I swear. I'm from New York. Texas, there's te- nothing there. Texas is like that, bro. It's where not it's like, like that here. Texas, bro, there's convicted felons that have gun permits in Texas. You can Damn. get it reversed. I promise. There's lawyers. Yeah, you can get it reversed with a little bit of money. You yeah. can get it expunged. Yeah. Our old yeah. boss you know was trying saying? to do that. You remember that? Yeah. And so they do it all the time. But there's people, like, I'm telling you, there's laws where I'm pretty sure that you can have and a gun right. in your home. Not you can't carry it around. I don't know how it is here. I know New York. You can't have one at all if you're a convicted felon. You can't even be around firearms. But New York is New York. Everybody yeah, knows bro. that New York. You can't do shit. Yeah, New York. You can't do a motherfucking Nothing. thing but move out. No, bro. New York <laughs> is strict as a bitch, and it's only getting stricter over there. I would never go back. For real? Yeah, bro. Never. Shout out to y'all in New York, but I'm sorry or Cali. <clears throat> shitholes. Yeah, Cal- oh, Kelly's turned into a complete shit. Kelly's just dream way too Cali. expensive for what the fuck. Like, nigga, I got a <laughs> half a bathroom. I got to take a shower outside and shit, and one bedroom that's in the middle of the living room type shit, and I got to pay four thousand a month type shit. Ouch! Like it's so expensive. And the homeless there. crisis over there is out of control. <sighs> Yeah, no, no, yeah. that's crazy. My they have like tent city and shit. Bro, my tent brother-in-law city. says you go downtown in Los Angeles and it just smells like piss everywhere. And there's like shit. You see homeless people taking <laughs> wow. shit on there's, the sidewalk. There's like, fucking tents and shit. Like, yeah, he's like, you got to walk on the road. He's like, because the sidewalks are all taken up by these tents. He's like, and they're feeling You got to walk shit. on the road. So you got to dodge the cars yeah, and dodge the exactly. piles of shit. Yo. <laughs> no, the people, only, crackheads, they're all like, people only want to live in California is because that's where all the rich people are at. Now they're all even. Bro, they're and all fucking it, miserable. It, Texas, like, here we come. It has that label. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah it has oh, like I'm that. in Malibu. Nigga, you're depressed, crying in your fucking mansion, <laughs> ready to blow your record. fucking brains out. Your house is about to fall off the cliff, okay? <laughs> Do you understand that? It's literally inches, an in, uh, earthquake away. No, in fact, it's two million out. to fall into the fucking out. Pacific out. Ocean or whatever. No, thank you. No, that's yeah. not the Pacific Ocean over there, is it? Uh, yeah, I, I, believe, I believe it's Pacific, yeah. No, is it? Yes. I think we're tripping. No, no, it's the Pacific. I'm pretty sure people are going to fall. What are we? Call and if we're wrong, let us know. But I believe yeah, go down in the comments and tell us we're stupid. Hmm? Are we what? What are we? Oh, what's the ocean? On we're Earth? Puerto Rican. I think the, <laughs> I think the Pacific Ocean is the one next. Time. <laughs> Listen, guys. Listen, listen. If you guys know, let us know in the comments. Yeah, facts. Because we we didn't pay attention we're to just geography. Pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I believe it's the Atlantic. Yes. Oh, well, you might be. That, you might be. Yeah. Like, like, He's like, you I might believe it was. Nah, nah. Atlantic. Actually, yes. if nah. we're gonna go with that, one, nah. that was that was. Yeah, that was good. It, it could be Atlantic or nah, Pacific. Nah, now you, now you fucked it up. Now you fucked it up. It is not. I'm I'm not, not, I'm not, not fuck yeah, it. Just let us know, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nah. No, listen, but listen, Jay. I think I'm starting to believe that the world is flat. Did you watch the documentary? I didn't. But it's just something about like the the way you talk about it, bro. Like you convinced you know, me. It's hilarious, though. I you know why? Because my brother in law told my wife that one day, and I was like, "Do you know that Tito talked to me about the world being flat?" And I'm like, "That's our theory, that's ridiculous. guys. Well, let's not get flagged. We have to start saying theory. That's a yeah, theory. yeah, yeah. It's a theory. Like, that's a theory. It's just what what our stupid asses believe. Okay, it's just a theory, guys. If you can say that you believe in aliens, I can tell you that the world is flat. You can suck my dick. <laughs> so, that's that's my opinion on that. So I don't know. Flag that, bitch. There's there's people saying they've been on the top, the the highest point of in in the world, and and all they see is some is flat. 
Bro, I'm at the highest point right now, and and <sighs> it's flat. You can't fly. When you fly, it's not going around. It's going straight. Oh, my God. That Think was, about it. Oh, I felt that. I, I'm going to get that tattoo. Have you ever looked out the window of a plane? <laughs> it's flat. There's a big ass curve. No, there's not. There is. Yeah, there is actually. When's the last time you've been on a plane? Yeah, I've been on a plane a lot. What did it change? In the yeah, right, like you go years? up there, it's the same view. It's flat. It's not. There's like the a fucking. Firmament. There's like a curve. Let us know, guys, because there's a curve. Guys, if you think the world is flat, just tell <laughs> this is us. fucking me up. My head's hurting. Look, you guys, let me the fuck know. What do you guys think? No, because thanks. they they think it's round. I think no. it's flat. What is wrong with that fucking lava lamp? It looks like something out of a horror movie. <laughs> it looks like movie. fucking Hulk skeeted straight <laughs> into that bitch. It, it looks like a little baby alien's about to yeah, fucking grow. Well, it looks like... like <laughs> drink it. I don't know, Just bro. Just kidding. <laughs> nah, but look but yeah. at this picture. What do you guys see on the outline? Look, look at the outline of the ocean. What is it? Wow. Uneven, because that one is higher than that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an artist. It's pretty no, fun. I'm not an artist. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not an artist. Nah, but yeah, that, that <laughs> guy right now is a bit lower. But it's flat. An artist or it's a man. Flat. Flat. It's flat. It's I'm flat. Just Listen, it's flat. guys, if you up. think That's the world is that. flat, go down in the comments. And if you think it's round, let us know. Watch the yeah. documentary. That'll yeah, explain facts. it. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Facts. But listen, guys, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop, all right? Rock and roll! Listen, man. Yo, dude! We love (laughs) y'all! We love you. Yeah, we do. Peace and love. Catch you on the next one, guys. Sheesh!